हेलो नॉलेज सीकर्स दिस इज शो मैन विथ ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आई हैव एन इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट टूडे फॉर यू to have the material traceability for the quality control department it is very difficult to make construction or warehouse people to follow this also there are permanent marking of the facility piping or the system which is called also stenciling and there are some safety color coding for piping and also the color coding is being used for trace the material so let us start this is a different type of subject but it is very important for us material traceability or identification bears utmost importance in the field of construction or for permanent plants facilities and pipelines everywhere proper traceability or identification from material procurement stage to construction construction steel installation installation to permanent reinstatement stage makes it easy and safe traceability starts from the material procurement receiving inspection stage where all material related documents must be traceable with the identification mark po number heat numbers pipe numbers etc traceability to be maintained for pipes and piping components including partially fabricated spools either by tags stamps color coding stencils or labels which are subjected to a unique identification all pipes fittings flanges and gaskets material will be sourced from approved manufacturer or vendors and will comply with the applicable codes and standards and industry material specification this should be confirmed through proper material identification and material test report which is also termed as mtc or mtr all incoming material to be traceable by the po number and material test report PO or purchase order will contain all the required data only identified materials which have manufacturer identification information and vendor working on it will be acceptable unidentified material will be rejected and quarantined until identified manufacturer identification and test report are available all wells and spool number will be traceable to the applicable approved drawing as per requirement of the company standards and weld identification and traceability procedure by tagging leveling or stenciling when a length of pipe is cut from a longer joint of pipe all vendor marking and other identifying information will be transferred to each length of the pipe this is also applies to pipeline segments and piping spools material markings for identification purpose are permanent marked then that remain intact and legible all the time spool identification tag will be provided to the piping spool with reference to applicable approved drawing marking and color coding traceability of materials let us discuss something about this heading color coding will be provided if different grades of pipe and its component will be stored in one location and the following requirements shall be considered as a minimum color coding is not suitable for pmi testing positive material identification or other permanent manufacturers marking required by astm and other specification permanent manufacturer marking will not be obscured by color coding color coding may be done by the material manufacturer or material supplier color coding need not to be retained after painting prior to coating surfaces will be clean and free of dirt loose scale grease and oil paints used for coating will be durable bright and distinctive and will not contain substances that would harmfully affect the material at ambient or elevated temperature valves flanges fittings do not require color coding if these components are permanently stamped or tagged by the manufacturer if the material are not easily legible valve flanges and fittings will be coded with a stripe of 5 mm minimum width the color coding of valves should indicate the valve body material astm a193 grade b7 start bolts do not require color coding if the grade of the material is stamped on one end of each bolt spiral wound gasket will be color coded in accordance with asmi b 16.0 sheet type of gasket do not require color coding pipe and fitting each length of pipe and fitting will have 5 mm a larger strip running full length 
For color coding details, table below will be followed. Color code for material identification. For example, carbon steel, ERW pipe, that means electric resistance welded pipe. The common designation is A53 grade B API 5L. The UNS designation, there is nothing. The color of the stripe can be one solid white. I will read some more for you. Let's say low alloy material, carbon manganese steel, one solid orange. Let's say for the low temperature material, A333 grade 6, one solid red stripe will do. Austenitic stainless steel like type 304, one solid black strip. Type 309, one solid black plus one additional solid brown strip will be required. So you can see the table continues for the nickel base alloys. One solid black with one solid pink stripe we need to mark. Now let us see verification marking. Paint marking will be done with water soluble material that contains no substances that harmfully affect the material at ambient or elevated temperature. I told you before, stamp on stencil or tag will be provided on bare pipes and its component. The marking will be placed as followed. Pipe 1 mark 75 mm from one end on the outer surface of the pipe. Fittings or forging adjacent to the manufacturer marking, valves adjacent to the valve manufacturer marking on bodies and other pressure parts, castings adjacent to the casting manufacturer marking and heat numbers, plates 75 mm from one inch adjacent to the manufacturer marking, tubes stencilled 300 mm from one end. Marking for materials after PMI testing. Paint marking shall be done with water insoluble material that contains no substances that harmfully affect the metal. In particular, the marking material shall be free of lead, sulfur, zinc, cadmium, mercury, chlorine and other halogens. All components and wells that are found unacceptable shall be marked immediately with a circle red X pending resolution. Color coding after PMI is intended to help prevent fabricator from using incorrect alloy material. The principal purpose of color coding is visual identification during storage and after the component has been cut for fabrication. Color coding is not a substitute for PMI testing or other permanent manufacturer markings required by STM or any other specification. Permanent manufacturer markings shall not be obscured by color coding. Color coding may be done by material manufacturer or material supplier. Color coding need not to be retained after painting. Disposition rule for missing or faded color coding. Only quality personnel may approve repainting after ensuring the following. Material have been verified for distinct color code and quality control documentation and issuance of NCR against vendor if required. Traceability of prefabricated spools. Before cutting the pipe, the heat numbers and material specification will be transferred to the cut pieces of pipe and then cut and color code will be confirmed. The heat numbers of pipe will be marked on each spool pieces. This will be reflected on daily welding report and weld database. Before spool fabrication, spool number will be recorded on the surface of the pipe and then fit up to be carried out. All surplus material will be marked with heat number, material specification, etc. for future use. Tag plate will be provided to identify all fabricated spools. Weld ID, traceability, tracking and status reporting shall be decided and agreed with the client before so that it can be maintained throughout the project. Traceability of equipment and instruments also from by their tag or some special color coding also need to be finalized. I will give you some facility color coding table for your reference. For flammable content type, black or yellow strip, example hydrogen, combustible white or brown, acetic acid, toxic or corrosive, black or orange, nitric acid, fire quenching, white or red for halon, other water like white or green for boiler water, white or blue for compressed air, white or purple on other services. This can be definable by user. It can be different color also. White or black. ANSI pipe marking color codes. Orange for electrical power, gold, yellow for dangerous material, white for communication, yellow for gases, green for water, black for other fluids, red for fire services, 
So this table is similar like others. This is to give you an idea. And again, I am telling this color codes has to be decided and mutually agreed between the contractor, the proponent or facility uh, owner and the project management team, PMT. Basic identification color. Water can be identified by green, steam is crimson red, firefighting signal red, oils dark brown, chemicals orange, gases ochre, acids and alkalis purple, air is light blue and process effluents like drain or paint or flare is black. Hazard or sign, safety grass green, attention golden yellow, danger signal red, Mandatory is blue, alert is yellow, electrical service is orange, traffic signs are white. I am telling this is safety board, sign boards. The background can be green, yellow, red, which bears an idea. For example, if the board is painted on red background, then you can think it is some danger signal. So that's all for color coding and material identification and traceability. If you have any more idea please share with me in the comment box i'm discussing all these things to have a overview or basic idea for you guys when you are exposed in the work you will know much more than this thank you if you gain some knowledge please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel invite your friends signing off showman coming with a similar video next time thank you